Some big diplomatic announcements were made during the G20 summit in New Delhi over the weekend. But the one that has caught everyone's eye and possibly even stands out among the rest is the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor or the IMEC. Now the IMEC is touted to be a counter to China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. So what is the key motto of this corridor? It is to enable goods and services to transit to, from and between India, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel and Europe. Now the signatories of these deal include countries like India, Italy, France, Germany, the USA, the UAE, Saudi Arabia and the European Union. Now the IMEC is divided into two corridors. First is the East Corridor which will connect India to the Arabian Gulf and the second is the Northern Corridor that will connect the Arabian Gulf to Europe. Now if we take a look at this map, now let us first clarify that this is not an official map but taken from social media. The corridor may move from Mumbai to Dubai and from there on towards Saudi Arabia and to the Haifa port in Israel which is owned and operated by the Adani Group. Now speaking of the Haifa port, it is part of the route but Israel does not feature as an official signatory in this deal. Why is that so? Well that is because Israel and Saudi Arabia do not have any diplomatic ties whatsoever as we speak. Saudi Arabia has been opposing any form of ties with Israel until the latter resolves its issues with Palestine. However, overtures are currently being made from both ends to resolve the issues at hand. So how is this corridor going to be useful? Well, the railway line will provide a cost-effective cross-border ship-to-rail transit network and will supplement the existing maritime and road transport routes. It is also expected to increase efficiency, reduce costs, generate jobs and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Now, the participants in this corridor also plan on enabling the laying of cable for electricity and digital connectivity and also laying a pipe for clean hydrogen exports. Lastly, the participants intend to meet in the next 60 days to develop an action plan with the relevant timetable. So that is the IMEC. Diplomacy is touting it to be a game changer, but we await a more detailed fine print over the next two months.